Hello, Lola's. Welcome to my channel. I'm here with Baby Noah, and Baby Noah is Willow Asleep. He is the prototype number two by Claire Tello Dolls, and I am going to get him changed and also talk to you about the difference in my collecting style and preferences. The preferences. <laughs> um, that type thing. He is now wearing all the little outfits because it is like freezing cold here. And so I wanted to get him changed again. These pants are a little baggy baggy on him. But I don't care. Now he didn't wear the shirt. Um, the onesie that went with this. Uh, one of the twins have, have that on. But um... I was sitting and I was thinking, I was like, you know what? I'm going to put him on this other outfit. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and mash, the, mash smash, hit, click, push the subscribe button. Um, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you share it with all your friends. And also, if you want to join the chatterbox with exclusive live streams, please make sure you click the link in the description bar. It is $1.99 to join and you must be 18 years old or older to join as well. And if you want, please buy some of the merch. The link is also in the description bar. The last Chatterbox <laughs> hangout lasted for probably almost about two hours. We laughed, we talked about just about everything all the way into the point of where I was trying to show them how I cannot root. So and so and so, so um, that was kind of funny. Um, I really, I was looking back at his old box opening and I was seeing how he came with how his hair was. Um, and um, I'm just smelling that, making sure it was just water. And I really liked the way it was styled when he first came and I really don't, I'm brushing his hair that often and I was thinking I should try to see if I could put it similar back to the way it was but I don't know Claire when Claire styles the baby's hairs when they get when they first come home when you open up the box it's like the baby just literally came from the hospital type hair that's the way their hair look and I don't know how she does that I think she like brush one piece at a time or something I don't know but um yeah so everybody have different things like I remember when I had Jade I was so bent on and it and you ch and your preferences changed too I was so bent on having armatures in both arms and legs and I was like that's the best way to go I still like having at least one baby with both armatures in both arms and legs still too because the posability is unbelievable. I love that. But my new preference is elbow armatures only. I don't want full armatures anymore ever in life. <laughs> um, out of awake and asleep, I am naturally more of a sleeper fan, but when I find a baby that's awake that pulls at me um then which is a very rare occasion then I I, I do love the awake um is to me it's harder to make an awake baby look realistic um because they tend to a lot of times end up looking dolly um for instance I loved my Serena so much and I really, really loved her. She was so pretty, but her face was so cute until she almost had more of a dolly look in the face because she was awake. I don't know. It was just, that's just, you know, um, I've had other dolls that I've had that, you know, a little bit with the awake, they just kind of didn't really pull it off that's why i like the Dwayne awake so much because he's awake and i can't believe how real he still looks so yeah so it's you know so awake is you know brooklyn i love the way brooklyn is awake so that's my my thing um 
bald or rooted of course my first option is rooted um if the head is shaped nicely nice enough i will i am perfectly okay with the bald head because it's always cute hat days and then um painted hair would be my last option if i do have painted hair i'm very particular about the painted hair i'll be honest with you if i do if i get painted a painted hair baby i'm very particular how that hair is painted um but i do love there are some painted hair babies that i am um and just in love with um i don't like the thick sharpie look that's my my biggest thing with that open mouth or closed mouth let me explain that two ways um a baby like noah to me is considered a baby with an open mouth because his mouth and that's the sculpt sculpted open or sculpted close so i don't really have a preference he i think he would have been cute with his mouth closed or open um i do like when they're open you don't have to worry about if you leave the pacifier in there for a little bit it won't you know kind of change the the uh the opening of their mouth like have it a little more gap than it originally was because it was already open um but as far as when it comes down to pacifier um accessibility i definitely without a doubt only want babies that can take pacifiers now if they can be modified as far as like clipping the nipple or they have to use a smaller pacifier i'm okay with that um magnet on a silicone absolutely not it's just not my thing that's reborn um status i'm not paying silicone money for reborn feature um but that's my preference um now i say this now but if a sculpt is cute enough and i just absolutely feel like I have to have it. I just, I love to see his wrinkles. Oh my gosh. Um, and he has hit the veining is amazing too. And I absolutely, um, have to, you know, not have, not have a, a, sorry 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 I'm trying to hurry up a pacifier then I will do it I will I will probably bend but I'm just talking about in general my preferences that's that's my preference I don't even see why in 2020 we are even making silicones without an open mouth that can't take a pacifier but then some of the older collectors will argue with me and say it's not all about being able to jab a pacifier in its mouth you know but whatever um <laughs> yeah I, I i said that in a post one day and boy those the the those what i call the old heads those the older collectors that's been around for 100 years they tried to eat me alive y'all just want to stick a pacifier in the mouth sound like your grandma Stop trying to feed that baby every time she cry. Um. But yeah, so. Alright. Gosh. Getting a diaper on can be a challenge. Um. What is some other part? Um. I don't. I'm not a froggy leg person. Um. I know a lot of people love the froggy leg look on babies. Um, even the bigger babies, they, they like it. Um, there were some babies that I, I love the movement. I like the, the position of the baby, but I did not like the, the, the overall stay position and that the legs are pretty much in that froggy or the, where it's like displayed out like that. I don't like that. Um, I like my babies to legs to be able to stretch out just like this in a very relaxed position and that's why like I said I'm very much in love with the willow body more than anybody that 
that I've ever had in my collection because of this. I love the whole flow of the body. I really do. Um, and I love his whole belly button. <laughs> Um, it's just a lot of sculpting details in him that I really, really do love. I don't know if you guys remember when I had, uh, Zoe. I really, really loved Zoe. Um, kit or doll. Um, I don't even look at that as a category. If the, if it's completed by the original sculptor, to me, at the end of the day, they all seem to be dolls at that point. Um, but that's just my personal thought and opinion. Um, so I don't, I can't say, oh, I, I, I would prefer a doll over a kid or a kid over a doll. Um, I don't look at stuff like that. I look at what I like individually. And that's how I place how much it's worth to me. Um, then there is... Fist and open hand. Um, in my past life as a collector, I only wanted open hands. <laughs> Did not like fists. I um, now am a different way a little bit. I just noticed he has a little red right there, almost like it's a little bruise or something. Sometimes I see stuff like that and I be like, Oh, did he hurt himself? And then I'm like, oh, he's a doll. He's not real. He's not real. I have to keep telling myself that. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, yeah, fist. If the fist is realistically done, sculpted, I don't mind fist. Um, I prefer, if possible, to have like one, at least one open hand and one fist. But two fists is fine depending on the position of the baby and the arms, et cetera, et cetera. So all that stuff all have to flow together. That's the thing. And that's, I'm kind of weird like that. I like my babies, they have to have a nice flow. Um, what else? So I have all these quirky things when I have newborns um, and they're really, really newborn, newborn or preemie. I like a hyper realistic look and I don't care if they're super cute when they're that little because a lot of times babies aren't that cute when they're first born. But that's just me and my preference. As they get a little bit bigger, I don't want no big ugly baby. Um, mm -mm, I don't, I don't. But you know, to each his own. All those little funny expressions, balled up lips, stuck out tongue. Um, I, I, it's, it's not my thing. That's, that's, that's not what I collect. I mean, I guess for role play, if you want to do it for, you know, just to have different expressions in your collection, I thought about that, but uh, uh I can't pay my money for it. I don't even think I, I would sit and take the time to paint it, to be honest. It's just not my thing, but I find them very cute in other people's collections. So that's another thing. A lot of times people want to push off their preferences on other people and you know like i see where a lot of times people act like they they can't you know support their fellow collectors in the the type of dolls they like because it's not the type of dolls that they like you know there are certain dolls that i i just would not buy um for one reason or another rather is i don't like the painting or i don't like the sculpting but if my collector friends love it, um, I will love their babies and support them in that. And then you got people in, in the hobby that they will make you feel bad about what you're collecting, talk down on you about what you're collecting, um, you know, make all these jokes and tease you and or stop talking to you or whatever, whatever, only until when they begin to have what you have, then their position change and all of a sudden, you know, it's okay. So you have to be careful with that. Sometimes people 
claim they don't like what you like because maybe at the time they, they don't see that they can afford it or, you know, they want it, they, can't, they feel like they can't have it. And so they will downplay it or make you feel bad about it. Um, and then when they get it, it's, it's an amazing thing. You know what I mean? So you have to be careful, very careful about that, that type of situation. Cause I've had that happen to me more than once, unfortunately. Um, and I won't lie. There has been times where it has gotten to me, um, where I did kind of question Dang, well, gosh, my babies are that bad? You know what I mean? Um, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I everybody have their, their own, you know, their own things. You know, what they like, what they love. And that's okay, you know? It, it's okay. It's okay to, to have you know, your own style of collecting, your own preferences and stuff like that. You know, some people prefer straight hair over curly. Some people prefer wavy hair. Some people prefer, you know, um, trying to, I was trying to get a little bit more light in on him, but, um, some people prefer sparsely rooted hair. Some people like thick hair, you know, Everybody like different things. Me, with the hair thing, it all depends on the baby. The only reason I kind of try to go with a thicker hair sometime on the silicone is only because of the... It's not sealed in the inside. I feel like I got a better chance if I got more strands of hair. Um, but... Um, but yeah, I like, I like both. I like both. My Reborns, I really like, I prefer baby baby looks um, on my babies. That's another thing. A lot of collectors love a lot of hair. They want to be able to put pigtails and ponytails and stuff. I actually prefer, a lot of times I like the hair that just kind of lay, kind of naturally go in, in a style where I don't have to do as much to it. I'm not big on styling hair so that's why i like it easy for me some people are very good with hair and they can you know keep up with all that not me i couldn't keep up with my real kids hair that's why i always pay for their hair to be braided down twisted all that stuff as soon as they was old enough to get it done um Kits, I prefer newborn size to three to six month size. I like a baby that's in between toddler size, but not all the way toddler size. I do, I am enjoying my, my little toddler now, but I don't necessarily collect a lot of toddlers. I have friends that only want toddlers, which is, you know, pretty cool I, I enjoy seeing them dress them and have fun with them I think I want to say her name is Cheryl that's in the on Facebook and she has these toddlers she has the twins and she has she has twins and she has siblings and she has limbs and Katie Marie's limb by Bonnie Brown and Katie Marie by I think Ann Timberland or Timberland or whatever her name is and Man, I love seeing her um her toddlers. But it's just not they're just not for me though. It's not my thing. And that's okay. But I really love hers. Like I look for for her, I I look for her pictures. Like seriously look for her pictures. Um when I'm on Facebook, I when I see her post, it makes me just really, really smile. Look at him. He's so sleepy. Oh, you're so sleepy. Until I try to get something done and he'll be not sleepy anymore. And that's another thing. Like, these babies don't need all the extra 
products when they're rooted with quality mohair and um, directionally rooted the hair don't tangle as much um, I learned long time ago a lot of times the hair tangle more so when it's not directionally rooted um, it's not even about as much about the quality of the hair as the way it's actually rooted in so but um, everybody have their like I said they have their preferences some people you know they want to grease their baby scalps and you know wash it with dandruff you know proof shampoo and you know put suffer eight in the hair and um, you know do hot oil treatments and all that stuff in their baby hair hey that's you know that's on y'all just know that it's a goat hair you know it ain't um, real hair and then I, I absolutely, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to leave that alone. We already way too far um, over my time limit. But that's okay because I, I probably won't get to get a video up in a while. And I really wanted to get his hair done. And the other beautiful thing about just using water is that if you touch them, it's only water. So I'm trying to get the, the ends of his hair I don't usually I don't usually worry about that part no more like at the bottom brushing down to the end of his hair because he gonna lay on it and it's just gonna get messed back up so it don't really matter but since I'm looking at it it's like he has a little fat fat roll right there so I just and there you go He's actually a pretty big, big size baby. Um, when you, when you put him on like real clothes, it's like, man, you've grown. But when he, when he has on just you know his onesies and stuff like that, he looks so much more baby. But that's the thing, the part that I do like about them too is that he's very baby, but yet. You know, shopping for him, the clothes is, you know, you could, you could buy a lot of different clothes. And I like, I love thumb suckers. I love when they can suck their thumb and all that stuff. So anyway, guys, that is it. Um, I don't know if I missed any of my other preferences. Um, but yeah, that's that. Alright, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.